Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. The given that somebody had hit me right before this fight, asking me who do I back, uh, Klitschko or Joshua, I thought I indicated it in previous vids. But for those who don't know, who may be wondering, I'm going with Anthony Joshua by stoppage in this particular fight. I think it goes to roughly about the eighth round. And uh, I think it gets uh, stopped at that point. I don't know if Vladimir Klitschko hits the canvas, but I think he starts to take a lot of punishment by that time in the fight and i think it'll be over with man um i think this fight is just exactly um what i've always said about it in the past I, I think it's a good fight for the sport but i think it's a lot of hype involved in this fight i think it eddie hearn and anthony joshua knows exactly what klitschko is on a competition level i think um klitschko just didn't look very impressive in his last few fight couple fights in me in my opinion um i don't think the things that he does effectively will be very effective against Anthony Joshua, such as holding. I don't think he'll be able to hold Anthony Joshua. The famous one, two that everybody knows about, I think will be ineffective due to uh, Anthony Joshua countering it and countering it with much more power, man. Um, I don't think Anthony Joshua will look as fast or as skilled as Vladimir Klitschko in the night the day, today, but I think his power will be the deciding factor. Too young, just too strong. 41-year-old Klitschko, he will give a valiant effort. I believe, uh, but I think uh, deep down, I think he'll he'll do a good job of boxing and maybe even up on some rounds. But I think he he will eventually the fight will get stopped due to him taking too much punishment or even just about to hit the canvas. Now, if he hits the canvas, I'll be very surprised by that. But I would not be surprised if a ref step, steps in and stops this fight, man. But um, I'm going with Anthony Joshua. Like I said, I say seventh, eighth round KO or TKO. Um, and, and I think that's just how the fight going to go. I think um, afterwards, Vladimir Klitschko will be very proud of the fact that he went in there and he tried his best to get the title for the third time. I think he'll be very proud of himself for everything he's done in his career. And he'll be proud to even honestly losing to Anthony Joshua, a guy he has history with. And and it said that he, you know, did a lot of sparring with and taught him a lot of things. So I'm rocking with Joshua, man. It's going to be a good fight, man. Looking forward to it. But I think it's a lot of hype behind it. And I don't think it's going to be as competitive. Well, I'm going to say it's going to be competitive, but I just think the outcome uh, is not going to change no matter what, you know. What I'm saying and this is my opinion. So to the next video, we'll see if I'm how close I am on this prediction, man. And I hope I'm damn near close, man, because I've been doing damn good in my last few predictions. But to the next video, main man made man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, main man 511, Facebook, main man made man boxing form, Google Plus, main man made man. You know, afterwards I'm gonna do a post fight vid, man. And if Klitschko gives a valiant effort, man, I ain't gonna have nothing bad to say about the guy, man. He's a legendary fighter, future Hall of Famer. Um, gave us a lot of good fights, a lot of entertaining moments, a lot of dolphins fights but uh remain undefeated for a decade you know what i mean so that's 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 big shit but we'll get to it to the next video peace